Hey everybody. <laughs> I just woke up. Um, Philip was really sweet to me this morning and let me sleep in for like a couple hours. We are on the way to Eleuthera. We're gonna check out um, this little strip of area that has like attractions called like the Queen's Bath. There's this glass window bridge, which sounds very interesting. And there should be a little beach right there too. We'll be there for a couple days. And then we're going to pick up the anchor and move into a more protected area. We're probably going to rent a car for Philip's birthday and um, go explore a cave or two around the island. Anyway, that's all for now. I got to get up and help this amazing man. Hey guys, we are crossing from the Berry Islands to the Eleuthera Island. Uh, it's been really fun today. Uh, the wind has been blowing 20 knots, pretty much hitting the beam the whole time. Kind of shifted a little bit, so we're still on a beam reach. Now we're uh, in about one meter seas, uh, perpendicular, so those are hitting us on the beam too. Probably another two hours or so before we make it back into protected waters because we're, we're out oh, about 9,000 feet deep right here. Get around these reefs before it gets dark out so we don't have that to contend with so it's kind of chilly. I got a couple layers on sleeves, pants, just because I was getting blasted with wind all day long. What do you expect? Anywho, been at it all day. Second cup of coffee, sort of day. So, might give me this bite to eat. I'm kind of hungry. Check out these waves. I mean, these waves aren't huge, but uh, the camera never picks it up. They, the camera never does it justice. But uh, when they hit you just right on the beam and just kind of picks you all the way up, you can see the wave kind of eye level with you sitting here in the at the helm. <laughs> Lift it all the way up, drop right back down into a trough, and then over again, and down again. Just saying that makes some people seasick, I'm sure. Ugh, sorry guys. Well, um, it's been a long day on the water. Beautiful sail. The sun's going down, as you can see. But um, we're tired, and so we're not going to make it have to go beat up into the wind at night into an unfamiliar anchorage is not not that fun so we're gonna peel off and we're gonna drop anchor on the side of current island we're gonna we'll drop anchor tonight and pick up where we left off in the morning get over here have you ever ridden in a car with a cat yeah we'll try being on a sailboat with one and rough sea she was asleep on the bed all day and then wouldn't get up and mess the sheets. It's a rough life being a boat cat. Being a boat captain too. Let's go see the glass window bridge. Almost there. See, it's it, it's all scrubland right here on the edge of the Bahamas. That's the Atlantic Ocean in the raw out to sea, and this is such a harsh environment. Hardly anything grows here, and anything that does is just literally clinging to the rock. All this limestone. Man, I wish we had the uh, the guy from uh, 
crime pays, but botany doesn't to tell us what this plant is growing here on the limestone like that. He did this whole series on limestone rock that was really cool. Hundreds of sea urchins in the pools, but as long as you're careful and wear some water shoes, you should be fine. Philip didn't get in for long, but I sure did. I was feeling that queen energy. It was pretty spectacular. If you ever find yourself on a Luther Island, definitely check out the Queen's Falls. So this is the happiest you've been in a long time? Yeah. Alright. Walking to some random beach a local pointed out to us. Hopefully it's the right way. We'll find out. Let's check it out. Not there yet. <laughs> the dark blue color and unabated energy of the Atlantic Ocean contrasts sharply with the turquoise tranquility of the Eleuthera Sound just to the west. At this point on the island, the Atlantic is trying to bash its way through to the other side. Over the past few tens of thousands of years, the waves have whittled the island down to a scant 40 feet wide. I'm sorry to say that our footage of the bridge itself was lost along with the GoPro, but there are some great drone shots of this bridge when the waves are raging. During heavy swell, the waves will actually wash over the top of the bridge, making it impassable. Yes, I'm Phil. Hold on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. We got our breakfast. Mm hmm. Coffee. Mm hmm. Bagels. Mm hmm. Beautiful blue water. Mm hmm. I fell asleep just fine. And it is another beautiful, beautiful day. Saying goodbye to that glass window bridge. The Queen's Bobs. All right, we're gonna change anchorages. This one got a little rolly with these easterly winds that are blowing in pretty thick right now. So um, first step, we need to pull up the stern anchor that I set yesterday. It's the first time I've ever deployed it. Uh, first time I've ever pulled it back up, so don't judge me too hard. Uh, it worked well enough, so let's do that. I don't see. But it's still attached at the bow where it be, where it where it lives, so I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, got it on board. I'll put it back in the locker. Smash your toes. Watch the, the battens will get hung up. Lower it down. Swing the boom. There you go. Turn up, crank, turn up, crank, turn up, crank. 
cranking that crank, pulling the anchor. There's a reason sailing is an Olympic sport. It's physical. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Philip, happy birthday to you. Mmm, pastelito, putting icing on it, because I like icing, and it's my birthday. Now it's like a toaster strudel. Mm. Yay, happy birthday. Yeah, move. They're dipping everything into this barbecue sauce. Just like drowned in it. <laughs> I'm glad you're splitting it. Yeah. I tell you what, the uh, the chicken and the pork. I didn't have any chicken, but the pork was good. I didn't think it was, great. was it? Yeah. Uh, it is to fix. We haven't burst it. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> so we don't know how. Hi. Yay. Hi. Marine fifty. Alright, your turn. Ready? You ready? Ready? Okay, let's go to town. Fill the water jugs up. Close. People sitting in here. Come on, my boat. Saying that the hatch is open. Oh, the child leader, child leader, child leader, child leader. Heck yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. No. 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 Go push the water. <laughs> All right, kiddos. One more? Yeah, my sister. Nice. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. You're very thank welcome. You thank you for the water. Thank you for not breaking the camera. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. All right. I'll have the rest of your day. Yeah. Three things. Yeah, we should buy you three, but. <laughs> we had to share. Thanks again. Hello. Bye bye. That's your girlfriend. Yes. She is. Than like a Capri Sun on a hot day. Oh. Yeah, these are Kool Aid. Pretty good. Oh. What'd you get? Those kids were so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I think I'm gonna put it like this actually.
So um, we are in Hatchet Bay in Eleuthera. Um, just want to give like a quick update because we've been here for like four days. Um, there was like a lightning storm a couple days ago, um, but we held pretty pretty good in here. It's actually the best anchorage we've we've been at in Eleuthera. Super calm. Or like the most calm. Yeah. Um, we met some really cool friends. Gave out some dream catchers. Next, we are gonna leave the harbor and sail a little bit further down Eleuthera. Governor's Harbor and check out some sites down there. Maybe later this week we're gonna sail to the Eczemas, which we're pretty excited about. Yeah. Very excited about. That's the other thing, so like with the provisioning and all the food that we had, like not really dip too much into the cans, which we already have. Um, almost all of our fresh food is gone, but we just kind of resupplied here in Eleuthera, where I want to say like Everything was like five or six dollars. Like the bread was like five eighty five. The ch six seven chicken wings was like five dollars. Pretty pleased that we did provision pretty thoroughly uh, in Florida. Yeah. Before coming here because it is pretty pricey. Costs are going up anyway. You know, That's inflation, That's corporate insane. greed, all that. There's actually a farm in Eleuthera um, that we're gonna visit that has some like organic things. Let's get more specific. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Next week on Sailing Kawoka, we drop anchor in Governor's Harbor and Nicole drives on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I don't like it. We check out this cave and nerd out on a nature hike. Butterfly.